Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll create a low poly car in Blender. Let's get started. Press Shift A to add a cube object. Press numpad 3 to switch to the side view. Hit the tab key to switch to edit mode. Press S key, then Y key, and scale up the cube on the Y axis. Press Alt Z to switch to X-ray mode. Select the bottom face. Hit the G key, then Z key to move the face on the Z axis a little bit. Select the top face and move the face down a little bit. Press numpad 1 to switch to front view. Scale down on the X axis a little bit. Press Ctrl R to add a vertical loop cut just in the middle. Select the left side vertices and delete them. We have half of the geometry now. We want to mirror the geometry to the other side and work symmetrically on the x-axis. Click on the Modifier Properties tab and add a mirror modifier. Enable the clipping option, so it will merge the vertices on the mirror plane. Alright, switch to the side view and turn off the x-ray mode. Press Ctrl R to add a vertical loop cut. Slide the loop cut right about here. Switch to face selection mode at the top left. Select this face. Hit the E key to extrude just a little bit. Hit the S key to scale down the face a little bit. G key, then Y key to slide the face on the Y axis a little bit. Switch to edge selection mode. Hold down the shift key and select these edges. Press Ctrl B to bevel the edges. Scroll up the mouse wheel and set the segment number to 2. Alright, now let's add the wheels. Go back to object mode. Go to the viewport shading menu and enable the cavity option to display the model clearly in the viewport. Add a cylinder. Set the vertex number to 24. Rotate the cylinder 90 degrees on the Y axis. Switch to side view, press Z key, and switch to wireframe mode. Place the cylinder in the proper place and scale down. Switch to the front view. Move the cylinder out so that intersect with the car. We will make holes for the wheels. Switch back to the side view. Press Shift D to duplicate the cylinder and move the cylinder backside of the car. Press Z key to switch back to solid view. Hold down the Shift key and select the cylinders. Press Ctrl J to join them together. Hold down the Shift key and select the car. The car should be the last selection. Go to the Modifier tab and add a Boolean modifier. The Boolean method will be the difference. Select the cylinders as the Boolean object. Apply the modifier. Delete the cylinders. As you can see, the cylinders have been subtracted from the car model. Select the car model and switch to edit mode. Add a cylinder. Set the vertex number to 24. Rotate the cylinder 90 degrees on the Y axis. Go to the side view and switch to wireframe mode. Grab and scale the cylinder so that fits inside the hole. Switch to the front view and scale down the cylinder on the X axis. Disable the clipping option and move the cylinder inside the hole. Z key to switch to solid mode. Select this face and press I key to inset. E key to extrude inside three times. S key to scale the face down. Move the face inside on the X axis a little bit. E key to extrude face, hold down the ALT key to select this face loop. Go to the select menu and check or deselect. E to extrude and S to scale. Move the faces inside a little bit. Select the back face of the wheels, hit the I key to inset, E key to extrude inside. Hold down ALT key and select this edge loop. Press Ctrl B to bevel. Scroll up the mouse wheel to increase the segment number. Hit the L key to select the wheel. Switch to the side view, duplicate the front wheels, and move the wheels back.
All right, let's make the car glasses now. Switch to the side view. Hit the K key to activate the knife tool. Hit the A key and cut the bottom of the car horizontally. In the same way, cut the windows and doors of the car vertically. Select the new faces. Hit the E key to extrude the faces inside. Hold down shift and select the side window faces. Hit the I key to inset the faces just a little bit. Hold down shift and select the front and back windows. Enable the clipping option in the mirror modifier. Hit the E key to extrude the faces inside just a little bit. There we go. Let's make the door handles. Select the door face and press shift D to duplicate the face. Hit the S key to scale down. Scale down on the Z axis. Move out on the X axis. E to extrude. Control R to add two loop cuts. Hit the S, then the Y key to slide the loop cuts. Select these two faces and extrude. Press the L key to select all faces. Move the handle back to the door. Duplicate the door handle and move the handle to the back door. Let's make the rear window mirror. Switch to the front view. Select the front face and disable the clipping option. Duplicate the face and move the faces outside. Press shift Control b to bevel the vertices. Scroll up the mouse wheel to increase the vertex number. L key to select the face and scale down. Scale down on the Z axis. E key to extrude. L key to select all faces. Place the mirror in the proper place. Select the face. E key to extrude. S key to scale down. Select the face. I key to inset the face and extrude inside a little bit. Select the bottom faces and extrude out just a little bit. All right, let's design the front and back sides of the car. Switch to edge selection mode and select the edges. Move the edges on the Y axis a little bit. In the same way, select the edges and move them on the Y axis. Let's create the headlights now. Select the faces. Be sure that the clipping option is disabled. Duplicate the faces. Hit the S, then Z key to scale down on the Z axis. Hit the G, then Z key to move the faces up. Select the edge and press double G key to slide the edge. Shift control B to bevel. Select the faces. Go to the mesh menu and extrude the faces along the normals. I key to inset the faces. Move the faces outside on the Y axis. In the same way, let's create stoplights. Let's create the radiator now. Select the front face and enable the clipping option. Hit the E key, then S key and Z key to scale down the face. Select the edge and double G key to slide. Select the face and hit the E key to extrude inside. Select the face and duplicate the face. 
Move the face on the Z axis a little bit. Switch the transformation orientation to normal. S key, then X key to scale down the face. E key to extrude. Switch back to global transformation. L key to select all faces. Shift D to duplicate and move up. Press Shift R to repeat the process. Select the edges. Press Ctrl B to bevel. Switch to the side view. Press Alt Z to switch to X-ray mode. Select the vertices and move them on the Y axis just a little bit. Select the vertices and move them on the Z axis just a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.